Let's get hustle. it. Big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Not, walk on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's going on? Nothing. I'm down. Man, you know what we got in here today. Yes, sir. This guy don't need no introduction, man. It's hey, man. Big trouble. Trouble. Gang, gang, psychos in a bit of psych. Are oh, you really crazy? Nah, man. I just be chilling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who gave you that name? Psycho that don't mean psycho. chilling. The name Psycho came from the streets. It came from the block. It came from, you know, the Greenspoint area. Oh, that mall but right there. But what did the you do to get that name? I mean... I just, if you ask me, I did what others wouldn't. So, you know what I'm saying? Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so, I ain't gonna say too much. But H Town, so Greenspoint area? Yeah, Greenspoint area. Let's get to it. Okay, so how, what was it like growing up in that area? I mean, I'm not even from that area. Okay, where are you That's from? That's just where I got the rap name from. I'm from Fifth Ward. Okay. Fifth Ward. Okay, that's even worse. Yeah, it's a lot worse. You so, know, so it's a lot worse than Green's Point. You know what? It's a it's a song that I thought of, but you wasn't even born yet. You might have been. How how old are you? I'm 29. Yeah, yeah. You might now. You were. It, it's a fifth ward is a spot where niggas get shot. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't born. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who did? That, who that was a uh, Ghetto Boys with a uh, uh, Bushwick Bill. He and he, he ain't even he from New York, but that's what he said. Cause, yeah. cause that's what Jay Prince them had him saying. Mm -hmm. Nah, they got Cogging. a lot of respect in the hood. Though. Yeah, like yeah. my great uncles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Grew up it, like outside with them. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, rap running my family. So like my uncles and shit was running with them. Wow. Is your what's your uncle's name? You don't, is he in the game? Is he? I don't know his rap? rap name. His name Robert. Okay. His name oh, Robert okay. Evans. Okay. Man, he used to rap. Name. He used to rap. He used to do all that shit like. The turntables, like real live hip hop. You had the back to when it boys started, and like, over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the real, and he go back to like the real, the real ghetto boys. From from my understanding, like it was another ghetto boys. Okay, okay. And he go back with them. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. Like the history of Houston, man. You guys, man, legendary. You from a legendary place where. People expect a lot when you say you gonna be a rapper. They not mm -hmm. playing with that. Like like niggas expecting something. They not even fit a ride with it if it ain't right. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I expect. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it gotta be right, don't it? Mm hmm Yeah, but go on. I know you No, you... I'm good. But um so okay, so you were raised with your mom and dad, or are you the traditional black family? I'm gonna call it like that now because majority of people who sit right up. there. My dad been locked up since I was a baby. Mm. So, yeah, it was just my mama. And so did, when did he come sick. out? How old he, were you? Did I he come out? He's been, I think, up to at least three years ago, he was home for at least 10 years. I met him because I tagged him in a Facebook post, and he came to see about that shit. What did you tag? What, how, I just, tell me I was, about the post. I was, being the, I was being like the natural upset son, and, I, you know, I said something, and he came out of, you know, he came out. He pulled up on me. And what did he say to you? We got drunk. He told me, like, he told me, you know what I'm saying, everything ain't his fault. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, And how old were you at this time? Mom. This was, like, two years ago. Two, okay, so you grown, ago. you were able to understand certain things? Yeah. So you asked your mom about it? Yeah. And she admitted it's to like, it? it's like... Yeah, you, you know don't don't get is. in don't get in grown yeah, folks. You ain't gonna business. get the truth. Yeah. You ain't gonna so tell far the truth back. anyway. Yeah, Neither it one of them. Yeah. Back. But you know what I call that? I call that it's his truth and her truth. There's yeah. no lie in it. It's just that as you're grown now, you know that something can happen right now. But I perceive it a different way from how you perceive it. So I'm gonna tell it a different way. Yeah. So it's not always that I'm lying or you're lying. It's just that we receive it in a different way. Yeah, but like it, it wasn't even more so a line. It was more so somebody withholding you know, information. Yeah, information like, oh, this ain't even happened, or this happened mm -hmm. because of this. But at the same time, he was in jail most of my life. So you got a good relationship with him now? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. You got I got, kids? I got a brother and a sister on on that side. So how many I brothers and sisters you got in total? Him. Um, my mama's side, I got four brothers and one sister. I'm the oldest. Okay. On the daddy's side, 
Got an older brother than me and my sister about the same age. And I got some more brothers that I ain't met. So y'all got a lot of boys, not yeah. that many sisters. Yeah, boys running the family. I see. I expect boys out of all my... Are my you mother. the only rapper? Yeah. Mm. The only rapper. But you got it from your daddy's but, side or your mama's side? Nah, yeah, I got it from my mama's side. Okay. My mama, she done wrote poems. She done been on the okay. radio writing poems and shit. And she rap all that. Are you a punching guy or are you a writer? I'm a writer. Okay. I could do punching. I could do punching, but like my my like love for this, mm -hmm. I gotta write. So music is your therapy? Yeah. So, yeah. That's good. So you started rap. How, when did you know you was gonna just this what you was gonna dedicate your your whole craft to your life to doing rap music? All right. Um, a couple years ago, nah, that was more than a couple years ago. Like 2013, around that time, where I was hustling at, it was a studio. And so, whenever the laws would come hit the block, I'd run straight in the studio. And I'd pay for an hour, pay for two hours. Like, just, <laughs> like hey, you man. were there. <laughs> yeah, like, book me right now. And it was like, yeah, I could rap for real. And that was, man, shout out to Yank Mob. He's from Houston, you know what I'm saying? But like, I go there and I start recording and it was like, it started getting more serious because I was fucking with real rappers at that point. And it's like, this was, you know, like, yeah, yeah. It, it was getting serious then around that time. That's when it started just real. Like, you know what? What, real, what real rappers was you messing with? Well, real to me, first I got around, um, you know what I'm saying? My bro, he's he's no longer with us. He started okay. Trouble Fam. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he was better rapping than shit. He was better rapping with the greats. He done better rap. Like, he done been around Keati. Like, he done, he was around. Like, he was around. How did he, he older than me. He got killed. You know, street violence. Regular street violence. So, Trouble Fam is a group for y'all. Trouble Fam is a group. And it's not a big group. How many? Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, two, two three, maybe four. A lot of people don't rap no more. So, okay. yeah. So, you're the only one still rapping in the group? I'm the only one still rapping. Okay. But they, but y'all, but they ride. That's why there. I can't let it go. Mm. You, you, know and you, do you? Would you like to see some others come in once you get it going good? Yeah, but not more so. Trouble fam, it's kind of to me. It's kind of like hard for somebody to just come in. Yeah, if they wasn't there with us. Yeah. See, yeah. uh, prophet who started trouble fam. Trouble fam got a meaning. Every letter in it got a meaning. What's the meaning? The meaning is talented rappers organized on the beach lyrics and entertainment. Forming the movement. That's what Trouble Fam means. Mm. That's live. Yeah, and so Prophet started that. That's live. He started it years ago before I even came with Bite, and that was the meaning. But when I came with Bite and we, you know, we clicked, that's what it was. It was Trouble Fam, but it was just only us two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like took it. I took it all the way up because I, you know, like if I'm a part of something, I'm going to rip that brand. Right. So that's, that's just how that go. Okay. When I seen you in uh, the, the the music video Trouble, like like you got all this blue on, like you just you know what I'm saying I don't know you know like you Snoop Dogg little brother to be honest with you. Nah, That's man. what I thought about when I first seen you because you had this blue on, and I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying I don't know how I'm gonna interview this guy. I mean, I started put my blue on just to show you, nigga, it was gonna be cool for us to do this interview. But what does how does a guy from Houston? Because I asked these niggas this man, I asked uh, I, I asked. Uh, shout what? out to LD three hundred. I asked certain because it's gangs here in in, in Texas. LA yeah, yeah, but you got guys here in Texas. I brought guys from LA. I asked the guys from LA, how can the guys in LA do they take the guys in Texas serious? Because it originated in LA. So how do a guy in Houston, Texas, that was from Fifth Ward, end up being affiliated with anything to do with Crippin? Man, a long time ago. See, what it is is, well, like, it's a guy named Sam Brun Hoover to Houston. Okay. I'm a Hoover. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't just fall on the Crips, like okay. I say. Yeah. So, um, Sam Brun Hoover to Houston. And so, from there, it branched off. This was a long time ago. From there, it branched off. So, if you didn't come from that branch, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, if you didn't come from nowhere up under him or you don't know, like, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Not like official. He, yeah, you're not official. Is Sam from Houston or is he from L.A.? I don't know that. Like, okay. I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know that. I just know that history. Yeah. 
Because there is a definitely, you know, from Three Stripes to all this, Three Stripes is, his video looked just like yours. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, he wearing this and he's in, he's in Moultrie, Georgia. Yeah. You know, like like I've seen these guys fly in and do interviews and, and it's like. Nah, see the blue bandana go through a lot of sets. So you would get it confused if you don't know. Like, like let's say we in the club with anybody. We know what kind of crypt they is by their hand signals and shit. Oh, the average you can really, person, you, you, you really can, can really tell. The average person will never know. I done been, I just was in the show with, um, with B-King and you know, we was from rolling 60s on the other side and them niggas was banging. We ain't even, you know, we ain't even let it be known. But it could have started a whole war <laughs> at the show. Yeah. Just because these niggas banging on this. Wow. And they rolling 60s. Mm. Wow, it's crazy, yeah, man. Why it's did crazy you, like Why that. did you... Um, why uh, didn't I? Well, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> why did you um, join the Hoovers? And how old were you? I was in elementary school. That young? Yeah, I was young. My mom was Hoover. Okay. So, like, I was kind of like... Born into this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't in a nice place. Right. And it was going down like that. Okay. I just didn't know how, because some people. Yeah, start- I got kicked out of elementary school for flagging. They mm. kicked us out. We was coming in there with our flags. This at NACU Henderson. Wow. They sent us home. Did you finish school? I got my GD. Okay. So, you know. So, being a part of uh, 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 of any situation, gang, whatever, how I mean, you you hadn't been to prison or you hadn't been in any you 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 pretty good at it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know yeah, what I mean? See, to, to stay I, afloat. I, I always been smart, and I had no other choice but to get smarter. Other than that, it was lessons. Yeah, and the lessons made me smarter. So yeah, nah, no prison for me, man. Like I can't. I beat every case I caught. Was it territorial being uh, from uh, Hoover? Where are you from? Like, did did like if you See, get out? The difference between Houston and LA, they never was on point with that with that side of game banging. Me growing up in Houston, we had to worry about bloods. I'm from Fifth Ward, the bloody nickel. So we had to worry about them. But like at the same time, I grew up under them. Like you know what I'm saying. The the some of the biggest rappers from my hood was like Bloods, Raw Rap, Sleep, and all them Coin. They all Bloods. You know what I'm saying. But like I was raised under them niggas. But yeah, that 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 was our problem. In L. A. You got who was beefing with Crips and like it, it just get a lot more. It get a lot more dangerous. Wow, you that 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 song is it. it the trouble like song one of them songs I listened to you kind of had a sound like the baby I'm not lying I could hear it bro I heard that you I know, could hear it nigga I heard I'm, it I'll be listening I'm, I'm listening to music nah, look let me go for let me you go farther saying? back let me go farther back I see when it comes to the baby Houston ain't know about him till he shot that nigga at Walmart correct correct hell right. I didn't know about him till he shot the nigga at when Walmart when he shot that nigga in Walmart I got tagged under his shit like, hey, this nigga sound like y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't no, you wow. know what I'm saying? But you know, it's each his own. So you, so you heard that me. before? Yeah. So I don't point. Yeah, no, nah, you, you don't point. But it's like people didn't know me, so it's easy to say that I sound like him because you didn't know me, and you didn't know we had this flow first. But but you switch it up too. I listen to. I can switch it up a whole. I've seen you switch it up since I listened to the song. And that's you got his out. problem right now. Oh, that's his problem right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, they want they want bro to switch it up. That's what I'm saying. I could switch it up. It's easy. So he can't do what you can do. Wait nah, a minute. I, I ain't gonna say that. Man, the baby is huge. Now nah, look, I ain't gonna say that. But it's not <laughs> too many people that could do what I could do, and I stand on that. You know, okay. We 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 just talking about rap right Correct. now. Correct. So you know what I'm saying. Right. But yeah, nah. I, to I switch it up like that is fly. I'm just telling you. I seen, I seen that, and I listened to one song. Like, Damn, nah, I can switch it up. Like the baby. See, then the I first said, that single, nigga don't sound like the baby. You messed me up with that. Yeah, nah. The first single I dropped on the on the on the NFL with B King. That's what everybody was in the comments saying. Yeah, yeah. We already got it, the baby. We this and we that. It's like, oh, okay. That's how y'all feel. Boom. This thing, you know, we kept dropping. I think it was the freestyle. We dropped the whoop that. Yeah, I listened freestyle. to the freestyle. 
And that's when niggas was like, nah. No, he don't. I listen to that one too. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you switched it up. But y'all was killing that. I love the the energy. B King energy is stupid too. Y'all energy together is crazy. Like, how was it when you first linked up with him and and, and basically, you know what I'm saying, turned up? And how did y'all even meet? Right. Man, like he was saying, you know, he was outside, I was outside. I'm. It's not, when, when it comes to music, like, I'm a fan of music all around. So, you know what I'm saying? I was always a B-King fan, too. I'm young, way younger than him. So Way younger than him? Yeah, when he was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got, we, you know, to us, this nigga been famous for a long, a long time. time. Yeah, you know I get it. I just told him I brought up Sergeant uh, we was in the teenage there. club. You know, we was in the teenage clubs, you know, dancing to his songs and stuff, getting rolled up. That's what, <laughs> in the, you know, in our age, you just had to get rolled up. Yeah. That was counted. How many times you got rolled up? How many times you got rolled up? Uh-huh. That's what was going on yeah, in our boy. era. And we, you know, it was going down. We was getting rolled up to be king. They had that crush. We used to hit that whole too. Yeah, man. yeah, that, you know yeah, that was that early on right yeah, there, man. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but really, so we, we got we got linked in, kept running into each other, and see, I always was VIP. For the most part, when he come, they put him in the VIP section that I had access to. So I just pop by, and you know, I was speaking all that shit. Like that's that's how that's how it came about. Every time I seen him, I speak, and it was like I wasn't fan that. So it's like I just speak and it'll be you know what I'm saying, it'll be that to the point to where he started noticing me. Then once I started making a little money, um, like, you know, I had seen him and I wanted a feature. And I paid him I think I paid him that same night. I paid you that same night, huh? Really that was back in my trap. You dropped that bread, days. right? You dropped yeah, that bread. Yeah, that was back in my trap that I was like, man, I need you on this song. And he's like, I right, bet. And he told me how much. He's like a thousand. I'm about to say, I ain't talking for a like, You ain't even hit him like yet. Yeah. He ain't even hit me like but that. I done heard some of his prices. That, that like, nigga is expensive. Yeah, because he's been watching you for a while, so I'm he already telling you, know. Hey, I heard your prices, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like when he, when he told me that price, I went, I'm, I think I'm left, if I'm, if I'm remembering right, I went straight and got the money. Like, yeah, do that quick. Yeah, we are gonna go ahead and do this. You brought back to the club. That's what's up. Yeah. So when you and once you came back after that, y'all when did the y'all y'all met up and done the song in the studio? Nah, he sent it back to oh, me. Oh, he sent it back. Okay, he sent it back to me fast. I think like the next day or some shit. All right. Yeah, so like he, he sent that whole right on back. Yeah, he sent it right back. The song was hard too, though. The song to this day is catching plays. That's but real. like, yeah, he sent. What's it the name right of that back. song? It's bum ass pussy. Okay, that we dropped it. We dropped it. We dropped it on. That, that was later. It was you. You right. It was later. We we did run it up. Run it up. It was run it up. It was with money making boom. He a big promoter. Okay. Was, okay. That's the and see. I'm the only nigga got a song with him since he even been home. Real talk. Yeah. He's one of the biggest promoters in Houston. On the north side. So. Yeah. On the north side and the, and the south side. Then they go he's in. He's the big promoter. That's live. You know what I'm saying? So that that was the first one. So the bum ass pussy. He heard it and he did that motherfucker for free. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> we was that's real, dog. Like, like, and and how, how? When was it when y'all decided? Okay, when he decided, or when you decided that, that y'all was gonna link up? Right. And he was gonna he was gonna manage you, or you know, you gonna be a part of his his brand? His I mean, it was like, honestly. Like, I don't know. It just, it just was kind of like chemistry. No, but like how many was, years after? It was like a year after, a year later or some like months a year. later? It, was, it wasn't long after. Okay. It was just, you know, it was, it was, it wasn't long after. Oh, okay. I like that, man. I, I mean, and, and what have you learned from being in the studio with B King? I'm, I, I'm learning everything. Everything at least I need to learn. Like what? Give me some examples. The, the people want to move. For as like the things that I don't know, okay. you know he's a he's a famous rapper, Correct. and I'm not. Okay, so I'm learning all of that. You street nigga. I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning how to. You know, I'm learning how to how to be famous and not be more street. You know, not be so street. And that's good for me. Like yeah. I'm all forward. Now, it's, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's hard. But like, have he put you in situations around people to where you like, damn, I'm in here with such a this nigga tripping. I don't even know I'd be in this hole. Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> All the time, but I gotta remember. You know, exactly. I gotta remember who I'm representing. Exactly, but you like, damn, this nigga in here. Yeah, nah, but these nah. nigga better not get out of line, nigga. I'm with yeah, this nigga. Nah. Even he know that. <laughs> like, I, I tell him like, hey man, 
I don't that, like that nigga. Like, <laughs> say it, nigga, that nigga right there ain't right, nigga. I can tell. You remember on that movie? They were, were when somebody was sitting in the back seat. That was on that Fifty Cent movie a long time ago. Oh uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't like him. I don't like moving, 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 keep moving man. Yeah. It's like when you write. Tell. It's like when you write, you write. <laughs> he knew. When you wrong, you, when you, wrong, you write. Right. You write. <laughs> he couldn't be up. I don't like that nigga moving. That was my shit. No, nah, but and that's that's real. That that. That God will put you in a situation where, where really it's a thing that everybody, people would want to be in that situation, man, to where where they could link with somebody like that's established. And you, um, <laughs> you you one of those guys, man, that you adapt, right? You come into these situations. Um, I've been around a lot of people, man, you know, and you can tell if it's somebody that you really not jiving with. You look at a nigga and tell that nigga ain't right. Nigga, I'm from the streets. That nigga ain't right. So I, I felt that part of that movie, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you got you still got to know how to. You know what I'm Still got to work with it's business. At the it's end of the day, you gonna meet a lot of people that you really ain't gonna be feeling like, right? So I mean, like it's a lot of growth and development that you so, gonna have to. So do. you guys are going to like when y'all go do the 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 parties, the the the, the shows, wherever you out there, man. How is it when you get in front of those people? Cause I know we didn't put you in front of some folks. I mean, with me, don't get me wrong. I'm still from the hood, so it's like you know, it's just. How about West told me on here he get out was, there and just smile and you know I just be chilling. <laughs> How about West said there was too many damn people out there. <laughs> it's like it's a lot of people out there, I man. It's a lot of people. And then he but, like you got Gucci man watching me and everybody and I got to go out here, but I signed up for it. You signed up for it, and see that's one thing I'm like. I, I know how to, like you just said, I got to adapt to this. So if I sign up for it, I got to be ready for anything that comes with it. And that mean anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so do you think, like, like when you, when it comes down to your music, where do you want to be at, like, in the next, say, you know, this 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 quarter is about to be the last quarter of the year. Where do you want to be at mid next year? Mid next year? I want to be, like, freshman level. Okay. For us, like the whole rap game, because yeah, yeah, that's 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 why I see at least. I I, I want to go farther than that, but I know how working goes, so I at least want that freshman. For us, the full rap game, not yeah. just to you know any you know just to everybody. Yeah, stay on that nigga because he gonna drop a he's gonna <laughs> drop a, a hit. He do it every year. You watch that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when he drop it, when he drop it, you be right on that thing. Yeah, nah, he gonna put me on one. You know what I'm saying? You got to be right on that thing, I'm man. Be that savage that pop out of nowhere, like his album come out Friday. Uh, See, I was October, just about to ask. October seventh, yeah. full of hits. So, so See, basically, wow. it, it, October the seventh, and the beats gonna called? be raw. I already know. Um, yeah, not nah, the beats raw. What's your What's your new album called? It's called Gangery. Why you want? How many Gangery. songs on it? Twelve. Twelve. Dang, you're giving them a lot. Okay, you from down in Houston, right? So when you look at uh, the way the Houston feel is, the Houston music, the Houston sound, um, you guys are different than, than you got your own, it's like a, it's own country. You pop trunk, you do a whole bunch of different things that other people don't do. I know I travel the U.S. and other countries, nigga, so I ain't seen nobody else doing what y'all do, man. How is it like being, coming up in a in an era like that? Is it just normal? Normalized, or when you go other places, can you tell like, man, this ain't like H Town? Oh uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You 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 could go anywhere and tell that it, that it ain't H Town. You know what I'm saying? Like anywhere outside of Houston. Yeah, and you can yeah. tell this that, that, that not. What about not Galveston? Houston. It's pretty close, nigga. You know what I'm nah. <laughs> what about Humble, Texas, niggas? Right nah. there, nigga. You know because <laughs> I stayed in Humble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, I used to hoop in Umbu. Like, I stayed in the neighborhoods. Nah, it's not even like the rest of... But don't get me wrong, Umbu is considered yeah, Houston, though. In Houston, Umbu considered Houston. That's what I do. That's what I'm, I'm yeah. thinking. It's pretty close. It's right there. Yeah. Georgetown. It's, it's up the street. Georgetown, <laughs> nah. So, when I look... Like I say, I look at the I look at what's going on in Houston. I'm about to hit you with the question, so you know you can answer it or you can choose not to answer it. But the other week we had a, a issue over there uh, where Texas looked pretty different. Man, we seen uh, two or three 
videotapes come out. You know what I'm saying? We seen uh, one man on the ground for a second. We seen the camera, you know, come back in. Uh, TMZ dropped it. We seen people on the news reporting what was going on live. Like, uh, uh, what is going on down there? When you think about uh, Zero and Trey, the truth, what was going on with that? And 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 from your perspective, man, from. From my perspective, man, let me tell you. If we, if we, you know, family, if this, if this, we not. I ain't gonna say family because you got, you got, you know what I'm saying. You got interviews where it's coming not to where one person saying we're not family at all. So you know they're not family, but you know what I'm saying. Far as being a street dude, you know, said to my understanding. Not to nobody else's. If you riding with me and you and you don't take your case, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like it don't matter. It don't matter when I come home. It doesn't matter. You are gonna get fucked up. And we. I don't care if we jump you. I don't care how I look to the public. But how how long have you been home though? Mm, not see. Well, when it comes to that, you see what I'm saying. This when been something did, that was. Nah, happened. when it comes to that. See, Jay Ton is Jay Ton is who he's real like he's affiliated from here to L.A. He called Ro out. He called him out already. See, shit like that goes unnoticed because don't nobody know who he is. Mm -hmm. It didn't it didn't become noticed till something happened to Zero mm -hmm. and everybody felt bad for him. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm I'm a big I'm a big Ro fan. Like I still man, listen, I'm every who's not a Ro fan. No, zero you feel hard, like man. the nigga hard as hell. Like there's no denying that. But I'm in the streets and it's like, man, there's certain shit you can't just you could you could look over it or you could just not say nothing. That's why you got the gangsters rap niggas, they not saying nothing because they just you know what I'm saying? But it's like, nah man, like something gotta be wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But nah, he called him out. That's what I'm saying. Okay. He called him out when he came home. So if them niggas, if if a road would have fought him one on one when he came home, that shit wouldn't have never happened. Yeah, but still, how does it happen? How does he? How does three four people? What is, it? It's still could that's happen. that's that's a, like like I just said, like man, shit. That's just how shit go. That's just how shit go. People looking at that wrong. You know how many people get jumped every time something going on? Niggas get jumped. So you think it's okay to get jumped? It's not okay to watch your. It's not okay to sit down and watch your partner fight somebody. That's what's not okay. Really? Yeah, really. So you can't get a nigga a fair one. Nah, hell no. Nah. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such. Not no more. We're changing. These niggas don't even take fair ones. Wow. I'm an old nigga. I ain't know that. Especially when you had. You know a what I'm just saying. Especially yeah. when you had a chance to get a fair one. He could have beat. Man, he could have beat Jay Ton up behind the scenes, and nobody would never know. He could have went and beat that nigga up, like beat his ass. Nobody wouldn't have known, and Jay Ton wouldn't have been able to do nothing about it. But it's like, like man, it's it's just so like it's so much to it, and you can't even just listen to me. This is just my opinion. I know, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a Hoover nigga. But it's like, nah, like man, it's just a lot. It's a lot goes with that situation because both of them niggas supposed to be Hoover too. So like it's a lot, like it's a lot. You know that. You know heard Ro say he Hoover. Jay yeah. Ton is for sure Hoover. He's official. Wow, man, it's just crazy. Cause uh, so they really in a sense. So that was supposed family. to go. Really, if you ask me, both of them niggas could get violated though. They both can. Wow. wow. For one, Jay Ton, when he did that shit, he had niggas involved that wasn't Hoover. You can get violated for that. Y'all jumped on the homie. You can get violated for that. Boom. For a second, Ro turned down the fight. He's already supposed to fight this nigga one on one. They could have did this shit on the clock. Both of you niggas are five dudes hoovers. That's 52 seconds. And it's over. So it's like, yeah, it could it, it, it could have, it's supposed to go. That's 52 seconds. 52 seconds. That's all they had to fight? fight? That's all they was supposed to fight. Wow. If it was, you know, if it was that serious, y'all got a problem with each other that 52 seconds, it's supposed to go like that. Or if it was serious like that, you know, this bro could have got violated. But like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be more protocol, if you ask me. Wow. But I don't feel like the situation was wrong, because I know this. 
And I know me. Like if I feel like anything going on, I catch you in public. I don't care about what, I don't care about these rappers. I don't care about these cameras. We're going to get busy. Well, let me ask you a question because when I think about um and this is from me just from the outside looking in. I know nothing about the gangs and all of that sort of stuff, okay? But if you have an affiliation or a gang and these two are the same type of gang, shouldn't there be somebody who is above them to say, hey, bring them together and say, hey, this is what's supposed to happen, especially if they violate it? That brings me back to saying you got j Tun being a real Hoover, real, real Hoover, mm-hmm. and then you got <laughs> and then you got rappers. That's rapping about being who? You know what? Let, let me ask you this. <laughs> if them niggas, listen, <laughs> if them niggas, you know, even, if them niggas was question. both on that level, trust me, it would have got, it, that's how it would have ended. Let, let me, let me that is crazy. So what age? <laughs> ain't no age. Does Don't, it stop? Ain't no age. Because let's say you. It's not an age. If you fifty. Is if you fifty. Cause no, my not, legs hurt. Age, my arms hurt. It's not an age, nigga. The nigga down the Bronx to your show, he's every bit of fifty, and he will whoop anybody you put in. He's the OG, OG champ who I brung got. That nigga is a real OG. Cause he'll fight anybody. Cause, and he good with the man. Every bit, cause stop. every bit of And he good, so you don't. Uh, he good. Well, I know it don't stop, cause I done had seventy. I got a seventy two year stop. old pyro yeah, you just on my channel. Yeah, like man, it's just. I done had. Don't he stop. the oldest living pyro, and him and Wack One Hundred just threatening each other. So it don't stop. It get fucked up for us when people ask questions like that. Like, oh, you got no. That's not even. It never you. stops. Yeah, like that's not even. They die. They because live by the code. Time, die by at the code. same time, um, people join these. Um, gang so young that you would think that when you get to a certain age you move out of the way and leave when you for get the a, when you but see what, how it really goes is when you get to a certain age you get tired of the fakes we don't have these problems when it's going on for real I could call my homies somebody can call our homies and we'll get this shit resolved what about uh, a community you, you're not a crib we do that too nah I'm not a crib but, that's we <laughs> Community revolution ain't, ain't yeah, that what nah, in progress. Ah, uh, that's that's not nobody help the yeah, community nah, that's, no more. That's, that's internet banging for real. Yeah, but like, does does the group of up, people though try to help the uh, yeah? We, we have toy drives and shit. We give back regardless. We we do that. Because isn't back. that why the gangs were started in the first place to yeah. help the community to protect their own people? Certain gangs, yeah. But your gang wasn't started for that reason. Nah. What was the reason? Honestly, I couldn't tell you the exact reason because I didn't start it. <laughs> but I, I just know how, you know. You know, you're born know into what, it. Right? I just know what's going on. But, like, for, like, we give back. For sure. We give back. You're born into it. Do you have a choice, like, when you were born into it to say, I don't want to do this? Of course you got a choice. Yeah, you got a can- choice. But you just breathed it. Yeah, like it was, it was, yeah, it just burst into it. Yeah, lifestyle. It, so, was, it was fit for me, and it's like you know, it still is. Do do you when you in this music? Because you, you're gonna have the opportunity. You blow up. You you could change the world. What are you gonna do to change things to make it better for our people? Man, I'm gonna do whatever I can. Especially when I'm in position, whatever I can, because I do want to see it change. And that's how you really change something. You yeah. do whatever you can. Not how just do you want you... it to see change, though? How? In what you way? You say the community? Yeah, how do you want to see a change? Like, what would you like to see happen? In your people. Um, for one, I would start with the OGs. You going to make them change? Yeah, I would start, me personally, I would start with them. Cause that's who we start with in the streets when there's so much bullshit going on. It's like y'all being misled, and boom, why are you being misled? Oh, it's because of this nigga, and he's not even an OG. Let me ask you something, man. I hate to jump subjects on you. This man, they found out this PMB rock killer mm-hmm. was a, a woman, a husband, and a a, a wife, and a and a and a, and a, and a, and a son. son. And this is wild to that's me. LA and, and, but but still, I'm just looking at them. They, they seen him. When he get out the car like you. Yeah, you with know the what I'm saying? With the stuff. chain. And he targeted at that point. Yeah, that's, how important that's just, is it to ha- watch how you move around this damn it's thing, so man? It's important. It's the most important thing. That's why so when I'm on the road. Yeah, if you went there and you, would you, that's where you coming out too. Yes. And you don't have your people with you. I'm going to have my people with because me. Because he only had his girl. You can't just have your girl. 
I can't speak on him. I'm like I done been to LA. It's politics. If I go to LA, I go straight to Hoover Street. And so now that's how we moving. We're not just moving with just me. We're moving with the homies. So you can pull up on the shit you want to, you're gonna get the same thing. You know, like it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole different ball game. That's just how like man, it's it's so deep when it comes to gang banging. Like so he's not ask- a gang banger. So you go into any city. I don't even think that was gang related at all. Right. But you got LA, you got LA niggas that's hungry. You're still a gang. See, people get that twisted too. You could be in a gang infested area. So you ain't got to, you might not even run into the gang, gang bangers. You might run into somebody who just grew up over here mm-hmm. and had it bad and needs some money. So you go, so any city you go into, you go find the Hoovers. Yeah, and whether you know them or not, yeah, that's how it's just because you are that's how it's supposed apart. To be. That's how it's supposed to be. Y'all stick together. Yeah, that's how. It's, that's how it's literally. That's how it's literally supposed that's to be. That's the way they do it. But for the most part, we are we 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 got somebody that we could call, and they're gonna call to this specific you know area. And they know and, that you coming. Yeah, they are gonna know we even coming. We didn't have we didn't have people make calls out of towns, and when we test down, they got a driver for us, they got guns for us, they got security for us. Same way with Houston. Yeah, and this goes That's to New York, go. to Atlanta, to Shreveport, to L. A. Well, when you, you go out of checking state, in. that's called checking in, of, right? No, but if you go out of the United that's States, that's checking in. Do y'all have yeah, them nah, outside the United big, States? Yes. Well, I I don't know outside. Of, I I've never been outside the United States, but I'm willing to bet we do. Mm-hmm. One thing about Hoover's, we the biggest set in the world. There's no set bigger than this. Really? But we're not Crips. We're not Crips, but it's no Who set. Who out here counting these niggas, man? Nah, man. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? We got the biggest group in the world. Nah, we, the, big, like, we, we the biggest set. Them, we the biggest set because sets got one set. We don't got one set. We got nine sets. We got nine sets. So when you talk about <laughs> Hoover, I'm trying to figure this out. Five when you talk about, yeah, when you talk about Hoover, 40? when you talk about Hoover, five deuce is one set. Forty is just a set. No, they ain't no Hoover. Nah. Well, I thought they was a, a set. You got five deuce Hoover. You got five nine Hoover. You got seven four Hoover. You got it's a lot of Hoovers. That we all fall under nine. We all fall under nine sets under the same thing. Hoover. That's we rock crazy, with each other, man. You go to LA, nigga ain't gotta be from Fadu's Who? Them niggas could be from, you know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas could be from way up the street. They, they, go, they rocking with us. They gonna get on your ass. That's crazy. I just tell the big king, the 5'5, five, five, nigga, he got beat up in jail. 5'5. Five, five. No. Uh-huh. You fired me? You ain't seen him? You fired me? He got Hoover killer on his yeah. forehead. He just got beat up by one of the homies. When recently? How you know? Cause I'm the homie. It got to us for it got to the blogs. Damn, that's crazy. Five five crib. He that got is. beat up. That's he's he don't fall on us. When did that happen? <laughs> Cause I ain't seen it. It's when, still, it's and still surfacing. Five, five. Oh, okay, you it's still, what I'm it's still surfacing. It's okay, five, five, not we a finally Hoover? seen it on the. No, it's not. It's not a Hoover. What no. is it? Five five. Nah, that's it's it's a rolling sixty. It's it's a it's a rolling set. How okay. do you know this? Cause I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm so I'm, I'm out gang, of the loop. I'm yeah. gang educated. I done been out there. I gotta know this shit. How do you learn all of this? Life, you gotta learn it. Me too. Life. I learned it cause you got. Five I got dudes taught it. Crib. I got people teaching it to me. They don't want me to go down there and not knowing what's going on. You go to LA, like for instance, you know our Astros tattoo. I got a homegirl. She a blood, and she got the Astros tattoo on her hand. And she done went to LA and they done checked the shit out of her. Like, she done been in real danger all because she got this Astros tattoo, which is Hoover. Okay. That's, you know, that, that, that's, that's crazy she, because. But Astros you, also the team. Yeah, but like. The what brothers, if you fell in love with a blood? A girl? <laughs> hey. Are you allowed to? Yeah. You what see you what mean? I'm saying? How y'all gonna live? What y'all, yeah. baby, what y'all baby to. gonna be? It's no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Gang banging come in with disrespect or oppositions. So if you're not an op or you ain't disrespected, yeah, like that's what I was saying about like Bloods and Crips don't beef in LA no more. You don't got them niggas beefing with Crips. I mean, with beefing Bloods, you got 
We beefing with Crips. Hoovers are beefing with Crips. And Bloods is beefing with Bloods. But Bloods probably beefing with Bloods. Beefing with Pyru. We beefing yeah, with some Pyru's, Bloods. Just like Pyru, Pyru said, I'm not a Blood. Nah, yeah. and who I'm we beefing Pyru. with some Bloods? They not Bloods. They beefing with the Brims. The homies in L.A. The Brims? Beef, yeah, the homies Never in L.A. Like beefing with the Brims. Does this change all the time? Change all the time. Man, how the hell are you supposed to keep up with that? Mm -hmm. It changes all the time, but it stay like that. Damn. See... I'm different because like I, I in LA who kind of got me a whole educational course. I was making a track Look, listening for his album. In I LA, had two T's on the word. He said you gotta take that out. That's <laughs> Tampa Tree Top. Yeah, like, yeah, that's 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 blood. That's Pyro. Yeah, that's you know Pyro. Yeah. So you like, damn! I just put the trees on. Yeah, like, but it's that serious because I dropped this shit and the homies gonna be like, yeah, cause like, you got two T's on. The, like, nah. I don't even want to I could go through it But I don't want to I No I, I get it You know no what's going down Man that's crazy that though And what I just was, I Like in LA Houston um, Who was beef with 60s In Houston These niggas don't beef with 60s Because they don't know this And I keep it from going like that To the best of my ability So that, like that's, that's how crazy it is Like I try my best To keep the shit from going like that because wow. we not in L.A. So I do preach that to these niggas, but it's like, and it's, even in L.A., that shit started for a reason. Who got to set here in Dallas, too? We got to set in Dallas, but <laughs> who you who you interview might not be. <laughs> this is not L.A. But there's a lot of people perpetrating out there. Yeah, now nah, that's, that's basically what I'm saying. Because trust me, we know about the homies that's in Dallas. Because you say you know them by the handshake and stuff, but can't somebody who perpetrate really just find out about all the handshakes and they all the signals and all handshake. of that stuff? Yeah, no, nah, that's not that's not how I say we know them. How you know them? We know them. We're going to know them by name. If you really affiliated. You know their names, each and every one? We could find out their names if you're affiliated. They have a book somewhere with everybody listed? Yes. Damn. Y'all serious? Yes. Yes. For real. A book? I'm, I'm so as a, soon as somebody see, look, join, they I'm write not, their name down. <laughs> look, I'm not, I might not be. Nobody, nobody in LA might not know my hump, know who under me. Mm -hmm. But when they try to call around and see who I am, they gonna find out. Psycho. He's lying. So boom, once they find out my line, they whoever they trying to check, if I call him and say, yeah, he under me, he green. Just like mm -hmm. that. Okay. And that's the point of the video, though. See, people just look at gang banging and you feel like it's no, I don't know what people feel like. But to us, it's really a lifestyle and we really live like this and we really know who and is And you've been in this your life, your whole life. Do y'all recruit? We we always recruit. So if you recruit, say five dudes, and they come in, if they do something out of line, are you in trouble? No, he's in trouble. Okay. Big trouble. He in trouble, and he gonna get he gonna get beat up for that. He That's called a, a DP. Yeah, I you learned that. More. You know, you the, I, 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 I didn't know. I, I just learned. You know, I don't know, but I done been checking the news. I niggas getting DP'd around he, this. He thing. gonna get a DP. That's I, crazy. Ne I've never got a DP. Damn, that's a hell of a I don't even think niggas want to DP me. Though. Hell, I don't think niggas need to be out there DPing nobody, man. Depending on how the DP go, like, a lot of niggas can't fight. <laughs> One nigga will whoop your ass. <laughs> With, like, two or three niggas, like, you out of there. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, nah, it's serious like that. You know wow. I just, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you this right now. And I ain't playing no games, man. We love you, bro. And we love you. And at the end of the day, I'm telling you right now. If you need me, I'm here. I'm not for to do no game banging with you. I'm yeah, old, no, nigga. I ain't gonna bring but you listen, game, bro, I love you, bro. You family now. That's the way we do it here. And I ain't for to let you leave off this panel without me telling you, man, that God is real. At the end of the day, family is real. Mm -hmm. And and we your people. I ain't got to be in no color to know that I love you, bro, and I'll ride for you when yeah. it's something right. You know what I'm saying? Period. And that's the but way see, like, he, You know man, back in the days When a brother seen you in the store He'd he be like what's up Game banger bring each other Bring people so much Close to each other Color bring you to together too Not even It ain't even Yeah just nigga get, it's when not he, even In just that penitentiary I'm gonna tell you right now You get in that penitentiary And a ride dr uh, j jump off I guarantee you It's gonna be about your color mm -hmm. Yeah but penitentiary You understand what I'm saying That's what I was telling him earlier Penitentiary is misled 
They're not brain. They're not brain. No, but I'm yeah. saying if you get to be dying and it's Hispanics over here and it's blacks over yeah. here, you will pick the right side. I yeah, promise. No, nah, that's because they're not banging right. We got Hispanics in Hoover. So why we? Finna, they so do that to here, That's why I'm saying they're they not. Can't do it. They're not banging right. <laughs> the pen is not the they same. They banging the, for life. Look, the pen, the pen is fucking up the whole game. Because <laughs> what, what's going on is these niggas getting out of jail banging. That's what's going on in hip hop. These niggas coming home banging. So that, you know so what I'm saying? So they joined the, they joined the, the game in, in, the in prison. jail. Damn. And it's like y'all joining the wrong shit. They misleading y'all. Damn. Like, man, that shit's so big. I can't even talk about it. The Trouble, homies, fame, psycho. For the simple fact that the homies don't even fuck with these niggas. So it's like, we don't even talk about them because we don't disrespect them or even bring them up. They don't get no light from us. Man, this is this is something else, man. Trouble, fame, psycho, and educated me on what's going on with the gang life. He's got a new album coming out. Um, to be honest with you, uh, the uh, Beat King is the one that manages. Education on the album. Oh, really? Like, 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 bring him back next time and just have a talk about that alone. Alone, just the whole album. Alone. Just the, <laughs> Are you serious? The whole album is going down through there. Are you gonna be? I mean, yeah. Far as the it's called gangstery. It's called gangery. Far gangery. as the period. Yeah, it's just talking about a whole lot of gang shit. Damn. Boy, I tell you, we love you, brother. Uh, did you give us our top three? We need our no, top three. Top three we get artists of all top time, three, dead or alive, time. any genre. Dead or alive, any, any genre. genre. I'm going to stay. I'm going to definitely say Michael Jackson. Hey. Okay. Well, from now, it's going to go Eminem and Biggie. I ain't got no heart. It's not hard. Damn. Michael and Jackson. Eminem over Biggie? Yeah. Damn. Why? All right. You asked me. Yeah, I'm asking. Because I definitely got to hear this. Me. Because Biggie dead. He ain't dropping no more music. Eminem still this dropping. Is this. Yeah, but ain't nobody. You ain't got no Eminem on your phone right now if I, I get it. I, I don't got no Biggie Man, on my phone. But you ain't, that ain't, how can that be your top? I always say that. We done had this conversation. They're my top. How? They're my top. I you don't listen, listen to them like that. I go listen to them. I go listen to them rapping on beats that's probably not even the original song. You know how people do nowadays. They'll take you your, like yeah, they'll take your um, they'll take your vocals. Rappers like that, Biggie and M, they'll take your vocals and put it on a whole other beat. I didn't listen to that shit. I didn't listen to him and them. I mean, I listen to Biggie rap on Lean Back. Have this nigga ever rapped on the the um, yeah, but Fat Joe beat Lean Back? He haven't. But I love that song that they put his verse on. Okay. I mean, that they put well, Biggie let me shit ask on. You this. So yeah, Eminem let me. No pop. I told you I'm a lyrical fan. So Pac ain't lyrical? No, nah, Pac's not lyrical, you know what, Pac, bro. Pac, Pac is lyrical. He's not. not to that me. first album. His his technique is not. Pac is like a Jeezy to me. What? I feel you on that. I don't. I I'm guess gonna I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to explain. Like, like Biggie. I know I'm pissing some album. 80s babies off right now, and I don't mean no harm. <laughs> but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Pac is, nah, I, I, I fuck with Pac. I, I listen to, I, I fuck with the gangster, but we're not talking about being gangster. We're talking about rapping. I fuck with lyrics and lyrical and how people form shit. Like Pac word, wasn't doing play, shit. Yeah, like, word, like I fuck word, with word, all that. Me. Pac wasn't doing that. So he you, was a gangster, and, and he was, you know what I'm saying, doing that. Biggie was doing it. But he still wasn't fucking with Eminem. Wow. Biggie is going to jab you. I said Michael Jackson because musically, you say any genre. So that's why I said Michael Jackson. But when you talk about lyrics, so you wouldn't say Jay-Z? Nah, I wouldn't. Scarface. Not lyrically. Scarface not lyrical either. Nah. Hell nah. (laughs) And I'm from Houston. Scarface not lyrical. Listen. Y'all ask me these questions. I'm going to say it again. Y'all nigga. Oh, yeah. Scarface. Face, face, my cousins and them, they listen to face, man. They, they you say he's not lyrical. Face. Not to me. He's not, not lyrical. He's not lyrical as my list. He's not more lyrical than Biggie. He's not, not more, more lyrical, lyrical than, than Eminem. Are you crazy? Than M? Than M. Nobody's more lyrical so than you M. Tell it, so you telling. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me say this. Not even let me more say this. So you telling me on storytelling, <laughs> Eminem, you put him in there, Eminem's going to tell a better story than. Scarface. 
Ask me that nah, question. No, nah, I'm not. A, nah, see, you ain't, you ain't asked me that. No, I'm asking. You ain't yeah, asked. Ain't no way. You ain't asked me that. No. Ain't no way. You ain't asked like me Stan. that. Stan is all you got. This man did this every it's time. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you ain't asked me. What, 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 you, you know, you find myself that. go like this. You <laughs> wonder why I go this way. You getting the whiff of it. Storytelling, I, I think it still wouldn't be face. What? It wouldn't. No. Uh, trouble fame psycho in the building. Hey, man, say, man, you done really educated me today, man. Trouble Fame Psycho, man. I see why you got the name, baby. You know what I'm saying? You can't, hey, you got to come back and rock with us. No, you got sure. to. Say, man, I'm going to be real with you, man. Now, I'm checking in. I know I ain't really just, I, I'm not playing the DP game with you when I get down there. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm check in. That mean, nigga, just tell the group I'm there. Oh, we're but gonna be I'm live, not, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not checking. I'm not doing it like y'all do it. I can't really do it. My bones be hurting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just make, go for roll, roll me up. You, where we at? We on Greensboro. We don't roll up. What? What? Where we we at? don't roll up. The homies don't say. They don't even say roll up. What? The, oh lord. They say stroll up. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can't say nothing. Yeah. Stroll up, okay. man. You look. This they didn't surprise me with that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I gotta say, don't get it wrong. I'm from Houston. This but is LA very politics. educated, though. Yeah, like they ain't, they ain't bullshitting with you, man. Went down, do no rolling up, man. Man, love you, bro. Love you, man. I, hey, man, I got me a new best friend. Don't play with it, man. Yeah, man. Check it, man. Don't fuck with Cuz. Hey, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss is talk. <laughs>